Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shots. Sniffing out the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another top five video for you guys today. Today, we're we'll going over my top five defensive playbooks to use when you pick up Madden 22. I just put out a video, top five offensive playbooks. If you missed that, I'll put a link in the description. Other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, do me a favor, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section, or just hook me up with a like. It takes a second, and it really helps out my channel. I also want to say that if you, there's a playbook that I miss, or there's a playbook that you think I should check out when I make my content this year, make sure to let me know in the comment section. Let everybody know in the comment section what your favorite playbook is, so maybe that'll become the meta. Maybe you're ahead of the curve. Let everybody know. Put your timestamp on it. Now, starting off, but in no particular order, is the Baltimore Ravens. This is a playbook that's been probably my top five videos since I've been doing it. It's still has some of the best run defenses like I feel the 4-4 splits one of the top run defenses I put it out every year the cover to uh, invert is one of my favorite plays you can just set that up to shut down most run plays take take away most lanes it's probably gonna be my most used run defense this year as well uh, and then they also have the 3-4 bear which is a really good run defense as well um, you know not necessarily a bunch of blitzes but when you go heavy packages like this that's pretty much all they're for I like fourth I like 3-4s as well some of these 3-4 formations even though it's not the meta 3-4 are still very good I got some really good blitzes in some of these so it's a really good series of three four formations now they also have a lot of really good dime and nickel packages the dime one four six and the dime two three six are essentially nickel normal and dollar uh really good formations then you have the two three six will which once again another variation which essentially looks like the dollar then you get down here like i said they're really loaded nickel packages most people run nickel packages all game and they have a lot they have the nickel two four five the nickel double leg gap which to me might be one of the better ways to get pressure this year so far and then the the 335 odd is another really good formation that I don't think enough people use or know about. They don't have a 335 normal, but they do have a 335 wide, which was the meta last year. I think a lot of people are still going to be expecting to use that this year. Then they have a nickel normal, which is kind of weird. They only have one play, <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe that's a, a glitch. The nickel triple, another formation that looks really interesting when it comes to some of the possibilities when it comes to blitzes. This is one of my go-to books every year. It's a really safe book to use um, and to put into a top five, especially because it's just really consistent and really solid. The Ravens are known for their defense and their playbook definitely matches that next up we have the arizona cardinals this is one that you know they have a ton of run stopping defenses which i find it's kind of easy to run the ball this year so to have the three four bear and the four four split in the same defense i think is definitely a huge plus a lot of these other ones are okay uh to me they're a little bit more pass defense based uh, but some really good run defenses between those two formations you also have a lot of good pass defenses the dime one four six your dollar replacement your dime sugar week which is something i haven't seen in a lot of playbooks this is a newer formation where you can definitely see a lot of blitz potential um, to work into you know ultimately a pass defense then you have your two Four, five, your 245 double a gap and your 245 odd which is one of my favorite formations this year giving you a lot of really unique looks when it comes to uh, pass defense so to me it's definitely a 50 50 book um, that has potential to stop the run and pass a really good playbook this year now one of my favorite playbooks that i saw this year that really impressed me was the bears this might be one of my go-to's another playbook that has a ton of really good run defenses anytime it has the 4-4 split i'm immediately game for that it also has the even 6-1 now if you guys watched my channel last year you know that i use that formation a lot especially when it comes to blitzes it's a good run defense as well it also has some good three fours the predator i get a lot of pressure out of the predator there's some really good uh you know pass defensive play some good blitzes out of that and it has the the three four meta which is the three four odd in it uh which obviously makes the you know basically their large defensive packages are all legit once you get back to some of the pass defenses they have the one four six which like i said it's pretty close to the dollar then you have the dime rush which is pretty much just the dime uh all good formations though i'm not trying to say they're not bad they're not good formations the two four five odd is a formation that i find myself using a lot i really like that formation i think there's some really good blitzes out of it um i let me see if they have that particular Blitz. Yeah, they do. The Mike 3, or the Sam Mike 3 press. This might be one of the first blitzes that I put out, one of the first defenses I put out. So hit the like button if you guys want to see a blitz out of that and the Sam Mike. It's basically the same blitz. So hit the like button. Like I said, I like I really like that formation, which is one of the reasons I'm leaning towards using the Bears myself personally. Then you got the nickel 335 wide, which obviously, like I said, was meta last year. The 35 will, which is basically a nickel normal. And the nickel triple, which is another formation, like I said in the previous book, looks like a really good uh, blitz package type of book because of the uh, alignment. So to me, they have a, a they look like one of the best blitzing playbooks, and they also look like one of the 
the best run stopping playbooks. Next up, we're gonna kind of cheat a little bit. We're gonna go Dolphins slash Patriots because they're very similar, but there are some major differences. Now, as far as the Dolphins, I think that might be the better one. Uh, since Brian Flores left from New England to you know basically take the playbook with him uh, to the Dolphins, I just feel like they have a little bit of a better selection when it comes to the nickel packages. That's probably why I like this playbook so much. But they do have plenty of beef. I mean, the Bears, a solid, you know, top-notch run defense, not a lot of gaps. The 3-4 Cub, pretty solid. The odd, the meta, obviously, um, that's going to be most important. If you're in a 3-4 book and you don't have that, you really don't have anything. Then you have this, which is, like I said, one of my favorite formations last year, the 6-1. One of the best blitzing, uh, you know, formations that I came up with last year. I loved it. The Big Nickel Over G, which is still, like I said, kind of rare, but really good. The 146, which is essentially your dollar. Your 236, which is essentially your dollar. And then, like I said, lots of nickel packages. The more nickel packages you have, the better. The 245, the double A gap, a really good pressure scheme out of that. The 335, which is, you know, odd, which is kind of a rare uh, formation. And then the nickel 335 wide, which was the meta last year. So to me, the Dolphins defensive playbook is definitely towards the top. Next up, we got the Giants. This is another playbook, a very similar playbook to the Patriots. You know, the Patriots used to be the meta. I'm not sure it is anymore. I think that the Giants and the Dolphins have really taken over. Now, the Giants are missing a little bit in the run defense department, but they do have a really good defense in the 3-4 Bear. Cub is solid. The Odd is the meta, obviously. Then you have the 4-3, which is, like I said, it's a good run. It has some good run defenses. It's really, to me, more of a blitz package playbook. Then you get to the, the, the nickels and the dimes. You just have a ton. Big nickel over G. 1-4-6. 2-3-6. Basically, your dollar replacements. 2-4-5, which is your nickel normal, essentially. The double A gap. The 3-3-5 odd. The 3-3-5 wide. These are all just loaded formations. There's not a lot of a spare packages that I don't think. I think I would probably use just about every formation in this book. So the Giants is definitely one of the best ones. Then it might be the playbook that I choose to use this year. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, updates, whatever, do me a favor. Hit the like button. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, some updates throughout the year as the game changes, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.